In this video we're going to be getting started with our inequalities unit and um, going over some simple uh, rules and uh, symbols that we use for expressing inequalities and also how to graph them. Okay, so a few things to start to go over. But let's start off with what an inequality actually is. So in the last unit when we were working with algebra we were working with uh, something called an equation. So an equation is when there is only one right answer. So for example, if we had the equation x plus 2 equals 6, we know that um, x has to equal 4, and that is the only value of x that makes this true. So an inequality is um, when there's more than one potential answer meaning that there could be multiple values that the missing variable can be. As you might have guessed from the name when something is in equal versus equal, in equal means it's two things that are not equal to each other. Okay, uh, so an equality would have an equal sign in the equation, and if uh, you're if we're dealing with inequalities, then we're dealing with one of these four symbols. So we have uh, dealt with these symbols um, earlier in this year. I think it was our rational numbers unit when we had to order um, rational numbers from biggest to smallest and that sort of thing. But I will give you a quick recap. Remember that uh, this symbol means greater than. Uh, this one would be less than. And then the only difference is uh, when, when you have these lines underneath it, it means it could also be equal to. So this one would be greater than or equal to. And this last one would be less than or equal to. And now if we go back up to this... Um, example I wrote up here, this was an equation because we have an equal sign. Now what if we changed it? Instead of an equal sign, let's say we have the inequality x plus 2 is greater than 6. Now to solve this, the great news is solving an inequation, or sorry, an inequality is exactly the same process as solving an equation. We always need to get the variable by itself. So to do that, we would subtract 2 from both sides here, and you'd be left with x is greater than 4. So you'll notice the only difference here is, instead of this being equal sign, I've replaced it with a different symbol. Now, since our answer is x is greater than 4, that means uh, this inequality will be true for any number that's greater than 4. For example, x could be 5 because, oops, sorry, let's try that again. Where's my eraser? Okay, uh, we could say x equals 5, because 5 plus 2 is 7, which is greater than 6. x could be 10, because 10 plus 2 is 12, and 12 is greater than 6. x could be a trillion. And this inequality would still be true, because it would be 1 trillion and 2, which is obviously greater than 6. Now, we're going to get more into solving inequalities like this in uh, the second video. This level is a bit more about uh, how to write an inequality based on uh, a given example, like a real a real life example. So, let's, let's go ahead and look at one. Let's say you are driving down uh, Crowchild Trail and the speed limit there is 80 kilometers per hour. So uh, you need to understand how to write that as an inequality. So if you, uh, assuming you're going to be driving the speed limit, let's say s is your speed, what inequality would represent this situation? Well, just think, does your speed need to be greater than 80 kilometers an hour, less than, does it need to be greater than or equal to 
or less than or equal to. That's what you need to try to figure out. So it'll look like this, S and then our inequality symbol with an 80. We just need to figure out what goes in here. Is it uh, less than, is it greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to? Um, so hopefully this makes sense to you that obviously you should be going less than 80 kilometers an hour, but it is okay to go exactly 80 kilometers an hour, so your answer should be less than or equal to. So the inequality here would be S is less than or equal to 80. Let's take a look at another example. What if uh, the last week in Calgary, let's say the temperature in Calgary has always been uh, at least 12 degrees Celsius and above. So what inequality would represent this situation? So let's uh, name our variable. Since we're talking about temperature, I'm going to call it T. So T is our temperature. And uh, the important thing is here that it's at least 12 degrees. That means it can include that number 12. So my inequality would be that, that temperature has to be greater than or equal to 12 degrees. Let's try one more example. How about, uh, and this is actually a true story, uh, last, a, f a few months ago I entered a DJ competition and in order to be accepted into the contest, I had to get over 25 likes on SoundCloud. So uh, I needed over 25 likes for my mix. So let's write this as an inequality. Now, there isn't a, the important thing here is uh, being over 25 means that 25 likes is actually not enough. So to write this as an inequality, let's, let's call L the amount of likes. So my likes has to be greater than, because it's got to be more than 25, uh, just like that. So likes is greater than 25. Notice that I'm not uh, making it greater than or equal to because it does have to be over 25. Oops. Where did my eraser go? Dang it, it's not working. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just cross this out. Okay, so it's supposed to be like is is greater than 25. There we go. Now, let's move on to the last part of this video, and that is how to uh, graph these inequalities on a number line. Let's go ahead and go back to uh, this example here to start off. Well, actually, before I do that, uh, there's something important we need to go over, and it is the difference between something called a closed circle or a solid circle, which, as you can imagine, looks like this. So that's a solid or closed circle. Okay, and the opposite of that would be this, and that is what we call either a hollow or an open circle. And when you're going to use those on a number line, you would be using a hollow circle when you're dealing with a greater than or less than symbol. And when you're dealing with a solid circle, it would be for either a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to symbol. The reason being, uh, when it's a closed circle like this, what that implies is that your solution includes the number uh, where that dot is. If it's a hollow circle, that means it, it doesn't quite include that number. And I think that'll, that'll start to make more sense when we look at some examples here. Okay, so our first one here, we figured out that um, the speed limit on Curl Child, your speed has to be less than or equal to 80 uh, kilometers per hour. So I'm going to quickly draw a number line here, and I usually like to start off with uh, the number in the inequality being in the center. So that's my 80, and then I'll draw an 81 here, 82, 
79 and a 78. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a dot at the 80. And then what we need to decide is if it's going to be a closed or open circle. Now, since our solution does include the number 80, it's going to be a closed circle. And that implies that it, our solution includes that number. And since it's less than or equal to 80, we're going to be drawing an arrow going to the left, just like this. So what this says is our solution can be 80 or anything less than it. All right, let's go take a look at another one of our examples. Uh, let's try this one here, where the temperature has to be uh, greater than or equal to 12. So I'll start off by drawing my number line. Put a 12 in the middle, a couple more ticks on each side. So we've got 13 here, 14, and then 11 and 10 down here. OK, so I'm going to draw my circle at 12. And since our solution does include the number 12, it can be it, we'll draw a closed circle. And this time, our temperature has to be greater than or equal to 12. So I'm going to be drawing an arrow going to the right, just like this. And that's it. OK, let's try one more, and that'll be it for this video. When I need to get over 25 likes. OK, so let's start by drawing a number line, 25 in the middle. OK, start off by drawing my circle at the 25. Now, you'll notice this time, my solution does not include the number 25. It has to be greater than. So that means we're going to keep this an open circle. And since it has to be greater than, that means we're going to be drawing an arrow to the right. And that would be the answer to that question. So that's it for this video. And when you're ready to come challenge the level, just let you know, I will be giving you a word problem, kind of like the ones I've shown you in this uh, video. And you'll have to write down the, both the inequality and uh, you'll have to draw it on a number line as well. Okay, good luck.